And another story from the Fletcher Building, a mechanical engineering lab is making a splash in the science world with its high-speed photography research. Reporter Jessica Rasmussen got a first-hand look at a few of those projects. When Tad Trescott came to BYU three years ago, he wanted to create a mechanical engineering lab where students could have fun, but he ran into a problem with what to call it. I thought of many different names, but Splash Lab was one of those, and I asked a lot of professors actually in the department what they thought, and one, uh, one gentleman said, um, one of the professors said he really didn't like it. After thinking about the name a little more, the same professor contacted him and said he liked the idea after all. And so the Splash Lab was born. I wanted to have a lab that did things with water, and so Splash made sense. And I've taken a lot of photographs that have been, you know, awarded awards and things, and those almost always involve some sort of splash. So that made a lot of sense. The word splash made a lot of sense. But don't let the name fool you. The research that Dr. Truscott and his students are doing is making huge strides in the mechanical engineering world. They even team up with the U.S. Navy for some of their projects. I guess you'd call it a symbiotic relationship. I help them in the summers with their research. Um, there's, uh, there's funding that we are able to apply for from both groups, and we get along really well, and it's a lot of fun, and it results in a lot of publications. But all of their hard work doesn't mean they don't have some excitement along the way. Most of the projects that the students work on start with their own fun ideas, like this fish, for example. Once they've spent enough time playing around, the questions start to form, and then the research starts. The guy in our lab is like, hey, do you want to see this great stupid human trick? So after he finished drinking his root beer, he fills it back up with water, and then he hits the top of the bottle, and the bottom of the bottle blows out. Well, like any good engineer, we're like, okay, how does that happen? So we started like coming up with all these ideas, like, oh, there's a pressure wave, oh, there's, you know, the glass is doing this. We were all wrong. And the way we found out we were wrong is we went and we got a high-speed camera. A lot of these projects start out as just toys. We have tons of balls and toys in the lab that we play with. And then we ask ourselves the next question, which, you know, some question comes up, like, how does that work? Or why is that doing what it's doing? Wow, that's so cool. And if you can't answer it quickly, typically there's a lot more science behind it. But the Splash Labbers don't want to keep all of this fun to themselves. The group is working on bringing programs to Utah focused on getting younger students excited about science and math. It's just like a fun little like, basically almost just like a remote controlled car. They can drive it around in the pool and dive around. And so the programs, they just spend four months or so building it with a teacher at a junior high school. And then we want to have a big competition where they all come here and have to do like an obstacle course. And then whoever does it fastest gets some prize. As the Splash Lab gets more and more recognition, the students can't help but appreciate the professor who started it all. Coming here and be able to work with Dr. Truscott is just has such an enthusiasm. Every time we have a meeting with him or talk with him, uh, you just you feel more motivated to, to go and work and, and do some of the things that, uh, that, that you can see he really loves. What I hope Splash Lab will become is a place where other researchers here at BYU will want to participate and join in. That was another reason why I didn't name it my name, because I wanted other researchers to feel like, oh, I'm Dr. So-and-so, and I'm a part of the Splash Lab, right? It can become much bigger than just uh, my lab. Jessica Rasmussen, BYU Weekly.